Now it's an age-old question, one of many, in fact. Is there life on Mars? Have the lights gone dim? They have. It's, <laughs> it's atmospheric. <laughs> or we haven't paid the 50p again. A space mission is getting underway next year to try to establish just that age-old question. And the University of Leicester hopes to play its part. Yes, the university has developed a new facility to handle samples returned from the Red Planet. And Amy Payne was given an exclusive look. It might look like a giant oven, but this is cutting edge space research kit and you have to wear protective clothing to view it here at the University of Leicester. Fashion out, cleanliness in. We want to reduce the contamination. Why? Well, this double walled isolator is being designed to handle samples returned from Mars in a mission due to launch next year. A bit far to go for more if they're ruined. We need to bring the samples back so that we can do the analysis here with our expert scientists that we can't do on the surface of Mars. And in this little stainless steel box, it's quite a big stainless steel box, we can put all of those instruments that we need. So things that people will be familiar with, cameras, microscopes, um, and then other instruments that tell us what things are made of um, and able to look inside them. This is a prototype and there's still a lot of work and investment needed, but already it has the potential to help answer the age-old question, is there life on Mars? So it's pretty important then, and students like Alan, who've helped develop it, are understandably rather pleased to play a part. Very proud that I'm actually doing a key piece of science and a little bit of my work will be used to detect if life was actually on Mars. The samples will be returned to Earth from the Red Planet in about 10 years, so it's scientists of the future, like these teenagers helping out this summer, who will analyse them. It makes me feel like inspired, like because there's so much stuff going on right now, and it's like to be a part of it is really quite cool. So I'm guessing you're thinking about coming to university here then, both of you? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really good. And with A-level results out this week, teenagers using Clearing are being encouraged to do just that. An opportunity not just to study here, but to play a part in space history. Amy Payne, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.